the more the uh, word problem side of the the section because there's like the exercise side of it and then there's a lot of the um, word problems so the one we're going to look at today is what i'm going to refer to as the chemistry problem And I'm going to read it to you, but I don't, we're not going to write it down. Okay. So basically it says something like it'll, it will say something like this. A nurse wishes to obtain 800 milliliters of a 7% solution of boric acid by mixing 4% and 12% solutions. How much of each should be used? Okay. So there are two two that she's going to mix she's going to take the four percent and the twelve percent solution and she wants to have a final mixture of seven percent okay so <coughs> one way to com combat this is to make like a little chart <coughs> the final mixture they tell us is going to be 800 milliliters of solution. But they don't tell us how much of each of the other two. So in the milliliters, one of them will be X and the other one will be 800 minus X. So whatever the difference is, if this one's 100, this one's going to be 700. If this one's 200, this one's going to be 600 and so on. Okay. So in the next column, we're going to write the percent. So this one's four, this one's 12, this one's seven. Okay. <coughs> All this is going to get us the third column, which is how much of the boric, boric, B O R, I think it's I C, boric acid. So we're going to change the percent to a decimal and multiply it by the milliliters. So 4% as a decimal is what? 0 0.04. So we're going to take 0 0.04, multiply it by the X. 12% as, as a decimal is what? 0 0.2, uh, 12, so 0 0.12 times the 800 minus X. I'm going to put that in parentheses. <coughs> And then the mixture, we're going to change the 7% to a decimal, so 0 0.07 times the 800. So these two together are going to equal this third one, okay? So for the equation, we're going to take the 0.04x, add the 0.12 times the 800 minus X, and that's gonna be equal to the 0 0.07 times the 800. All right, once you've got the equation set up, <coughs> see if you can simplify it a little bit, right? You've got a decimal here, a decimal here, and a decimal here. What could I multiply all three of those terms by to get rid of decimal, the decimal? A hundred, right? Because if you move it twice, one, two, one, two, one, two, that would get rid of the decimal. So I'm going to multiply everything by 100, which gives me 4x plus 12 times 800 minus x equal to 7 times 800. <clears throat> From here, you probably just need a calculator, right? And you need to uh, distribute and then solve for x. So we've got 4x and then 12 times 800, what's that, 9,600 minus 12x. And then 7 times 800 is 5,600. <coughs> oh, forgot my little x in there. And so now 
we want to do 4x minus 12x, combine it on the left side, so negative 8x. I'm also going to subtract this 9600 from both sides, which is good because then I'll have negatives on both sides, right? So 5600 minus 9600 is negative 4000. So if I have a negative and a negative, that's good, because when I divide by negative 8, they both become positive. So it's x equals, and what would that be, 500? Okay, that means of the 4% solution, we're going to have 500 milliliters. So 500 milliliters of, at the 4%. Subtract that from the 800. Right? That means you're going to have 300 milliliters at the 12%. You mix those two together, you're going to get 800 milliliters of a 7% mixture. Okay. One thing you will see in these problems is um, it'll say something like mixed with water. Okay. So water is going to be zero percent of whatever they're asking for so like usually it's chlorine or saline and so if you mix in water it's gonna so if you need this number here and it doesn't give you one the percent of water it's gonna be zero you, you'll see that come up i just need to point that out okay all right so let's do example number two which is going to be a dirt problem. Distance equals rate times time. <laughs> so I'm going to read it to you. You don't need to write it down. Daniel ran up the hill at 6 miles per hour and then ran down the hill at 12 miles per hour. How many miles did he travel if his total running time was 45 minutes? <coughs> So if you have distance equals rate times time, if you want to solve for time, you need to divide both sides by the rate. So time is going to be equal to the distance divided by the rate. <clears throat> so going up the hill, his distance uh, we don't know, so we call it x. But his rate was, what was it, 6, 6 miles per hour. Then he ran down the hill. We don't know the distance, but it was the same, right? You go up the hill and then you go down the hill. You run the same distance. So even though we don't know, we'll call it x and x. And this time he went faster, right? Because going uphill takes you a long time. Going downhill, you can go a lot faster, right? So if it took him six miles per hour, then going downhill was 12 miles per hour. His total time was 45 minutes. We're going to say that's out of 60, so out of like an hour, okay? <coughs> Can I reduce this 45 over 60 to what? Three fourths, okay? So this is three quarters of an hour. Now we can look at these three terms and we see, okay, we're gonna need a least common denominator, right? In order to solve this, so six, 12 and 4 all go into what evenly? 12. So the least common denominator is 12. So I'm going to take this first term and multiply it by what? 2 over 2. What do I need to multiply the second term by? Nothing. Okay. And what do I need to multiply over on the other side of the equal side by? 3. So 3 over 3. <laughs> When I do that, that's going to cancel out my denominators, and I'm left with what's left. x times 2 is 2x, plus x times nothing, which is just 1x. That's going to be equal to 3 times 3, which is 9. 
This went from super complicated to super easy real fast, right? 2x plus 1x is 3x. Divide both sides by 3. You get x equals 3. And x was referring to what? The distance going up the hill and the distance going down the hill. So up the hill was 3 miles. Down the hill was 3 miles. Total 6 miles, depending on what they're asking, the question asks you for. Up, down, total. I don't know what the question is going to ask you for, right? Just read it and see which one it's asking for. All right. Any questions on example number two there? 